What's up guys? Part 2 is here. Uh, welcome to Liverpool Street. The new... So this is the old Liverpool Street. Where used to TSL Row used to be. Uh, also, if you want to write in the comments, just a little gag. I kept coming up with this yesterday. Oh, camera one, I didn't say it. Write TFL Rounds if you want to. This for a laugh. Because these trains used to be part of TFL Rounds, but they're not now because it's the Elizabeth Line. The Elizabeth Line is now taken over. But you can still call it TFL Rounds if you want to, just for a laugh. Just redesign the logo to TFL Rounds. But also I wanted to mention that they used to have, now if you're a big train expert, they used to have class 315s, but the, the, the last one that went from Liverpool Street to Shenfield and did the last one is now gone. It used to come on in that, just come on that platform there, and now that's gone. And now it's been replaced by these trains, which are all Lisbon lines. And I think they're better than the 315s because the 315s you can walk, you can't walk through because you have to open the door to get to the next carriage. In these, you can walk straight through. And they've got plenty of plenty of leg space and all that lot. But also, I'll see you at the next part of Liverpool Street when we get to the next new entrance. See you there. We're about to enter the new Liverpool Street station. It's going to be a new Liverpool Street, Street station. It's probably in there, but... Look at all this. This is all brand new. And then we're going to be going down the nice big long escalators coming up. And also there's something else. We'll see something a little bit different I haven't seen in Britain before. Well, at least in London. There we go. Here. Can you see the lift? Can you see the lift? Can you see the lift? <laughs> see it's going diagonally, not going downwards. Normally you get lifts going upwards, not going diagonally. That's very new. And all this has changed. This is, this is like at every station, not on like National Rail. But the tunnels just look so fresh, so smelly, fresh new. But it's only been built, it's only one day old. Of course it's going to be new. It's not like 100 years old, is it? It's only just come out. Elizabeth Lime, look at that. Looking shiny and new. Yes. So as we're going through, we're going through the nice little tunnels, which I really like. Because, and that's what every station on the Elizabeth Lime is going to look like, except for the ones between Shenfield and Strat um, Liverpool Street. They're all the same. So you will recognise the difference as these ones. So we'll cut straight to the next part where is I'll show you the little the confusing part between the two stations that are in one. You're gonna notice the difference. Okay guys, so here we are. Here comes the confusing part. Oh the train's not in So down there we've got Moorgate. And down here, we've got Liverpool Street. So if you want to go to Moorgate and without getting a train, just go there. Just walk. Just walk walking. And then you know, Liverpool Street is just, is just that way. So try not to get too confused. Okay. Okay. Just Yeah, because it's, it's all marked. Yeah, we're just checking. Don't want to be doing that, do I? Yeah. You're in Liverpool Street. Bye bye, Liverpool Street and Moorgate. That's what it's known. And here is the tube. This is the train to Abbey Wood via Canary Wharf. Next station, Whitechapel. So there's the, the inside of the carriage, just underground. This is pretty interesting.